It's a red letter day for Rainbow Six Siege as Crimson Heist is coming to kick off year six in style. I mean, just look at those glasses. Fire. The man behind them is Flores, the new attacker from Argentina who deploys zippy little drones that pack a big punch. But he's not the only one bringing the boom. Some attackers will get an explosive implement of their own with a new secondary weapon option, the Gone Six. Crimson Heist will also deliver a new rework for the border map and launch the beta of Match Replay on PC, so you'll have a new way to analyze your opponents or show off your 200 IQ plays. It's a new year and Team Rainbow has a lot in store, so take a second to subscribe to this channel and let's take a deeper look at Crimson Heist. Flores is a new medium speed, medium armor operator, and he's finally created the DIY device that every attacker dreams of. He put a bomb on a drone. His RCE Rotero gadget can clear out pesky defender obstacles like barricades and shields and barbed wires and what have you. And it can also target gadgets like Bandit's batteries or Maestro's evil eyes to minimize meddling from the defending team. Plus, it's very dangerous for anyone caught in its blast radius, though the explosive timer is long enough for savvy defenders to get clear. Here's how it works. Once Flores deploys a Rotero device, its wheels start spinning and it moves ahead non-stop until it is destroyed or its explosive is triggered. It can be steered, it can jump, and it can go anywhere a normal attacker drone can go, but it can't reverse or slow down. While moving, the Rotero is vulnerable to being destroyed by enemy bullets, electricity, lasers, and Mozzie's pests, or to being stopped by Mute's jammers. So, players will have to be wary to ensure the Rotero reaches its target. However, once the explosive is triggered, either manually or automatically when the countdown timer reaches zero, it's the defenders that will have to watch out. Engaging the explosive causes the Rotero to anchor. It immediately stops moving, armors itself, and becomes bulletproof. Then, after a short fuse timer, boom. The Rotero's explosion can take a lot of defender utility off the board, and the anchoring feature gives savvy Flores players some extra flexibility. When the Rotero anchors, it sticks to any surface it's touching. And if the Rotero is mid-air, it'll stick to the next surface it touches, including walls, deployable shields, and some enemy gadgets. And though it has no effect on reinforced surfaces, it can open up an unreinforced hatch, or create a big old breach in a destructible wall to give Flores a new route to push with his AR-33 assault rifle, his SR-25 marksman rifle, or his GSH-18 sidearm. His set of explosive Rotero drones, along with the stun grenades or claymore in his secondary gadget slot, give Flores a lot of reach and potential to make an impact. Whether he's clearing the way for his teammates, denying diffuser access in a post-plant situation, or simply out for blood, Flores brings style and substance to any attacking team. If you're looking to boost your explosive capabilities beyond a Flores pick, then Crimson Heist has just the thing, the Gone Six. It's a new secondary weapon option for some attackers that comes loaded with a single explosive round to help you clear out all sorts of bulletproof gadgets. You may only have one shot, but sometimes all it takes is one round to change a round. Speaking of rounds, the ones you've been seeing here have all played out on the new border map rework. A host of small changes have been made across the map to increase mobility options, including the new exterior staircase to the Archives office balcony, and the new interior balcony over waiting room that connects East Stairs to the break room. A number of objective sites have been extended and reorganized, making for cleaner lines of sight and better balance. And the bathroom in particular has a new destructible wall near the exterior window that might interest you. You may also be interested to learn that the noise from the helicopter circling overhead has been significantly reduced. And the guy on the PA system will only be making his announcements during the prep phase. Crimson Heist will also mark a new milestone for the match replay feature, which will be entering a beta phase as it becomes available to all PC players on live servers. 
Crimson Heist is coming soon to Rainbow Six Siege, bringing the Gone 6 and Border Map rework free to all players at launch. The new attacker, Flores, will be available at launch through the Crimson Heist Battle Pass as the first unlock of the premium track, and will be available two weeks later for purchase with Renown or R6 credits. To keep up with the big changes and exciting new additions coming in year six of Rainbow Six Siege, subscribe to this channel and visit us at news.ubisoft.com. Depressive. Nice, good job. Top four eliminated.